In another wave of violence here in New York City, and it's taken lives, shattered families. The NYPD says since midnight, at least 20 people have been shot, and two of those people have died. And one of those victims, a correction officer, shot and killed in Jamaica, Queens. And News 4's Adam Harding is live in the neighborhood where the officer was killed. Adam? And Gilma and Adam, just 28 years old, a terrible tragedy unfolding behind us here in this neighborhood where police are still out right now. We've seen about two dozen of these markers here. The markers go up to at least 24. Sources telling News 4 that the victim may have been leaving a party when he was shot dead. This death coming on the heels of a very dangerous night all across the city. Tonight, the evidence markers mapping out the deadly overnight shooting on Ridgedale Street in Jamaica. New York police now scouring the neighborhood, searching for a killer. I think it's tragic, you know what I mean? Um, as far as the area, it's a working class area. You know, um, I grew up here. I like working here. I like the people here. It's just unfortunate what happened. This nearby auto mechanic tonight stunned after learning a correction officer was shot dead. The Benevolent Association now offering up a $10,000 reward, identifying the victim as 28 year old John Jeff, who spent two years on the job working on Rikers Island. The mayor Saturday writing online, This is a tragedy, adding, An investigation into this cowardly attack is ongoing. If you have any information, please contact the NYPD. <laughs> It comes amid a violent stretch across this city overnight. At least a dozen shootings, two confirmed dead. This is ridiculous, man. In Harlem, police are investigating after at least four were shot at a crowded block party. The victim said to be in stable condition, the shooter still on the run. You no, know, it's a shame, but like, I mean, this, seeing this, this hurts because I got friends here and everything. Now, as for that shooting here on Ridgedale Street behind us, you still see police investigating. The shooter is still on the run. The Benevolent Association says the 28-year-old correction officer was well-liked. He was highly respected in his field. As for those 20 shooting victims in that overnight few hours, those dozen shootings, at least 20 victims, compared that to a year ago when there were only two victims. Live tonight in Queens, I'm Adam Harding, News 4 New York.